Hey guys, I'm Will and welcome to part two of your Shield setup tutorial. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to navigate the Android user interface and the Tegrazone app using Shield. So, let's get started. Now, the first thing you should know is that most of your Shield controls are actually compatible with the Android user interface. Of course, you can use the touchscreen and flick around and pick different uh, elements within the user interface, but you can also use your left joystick to select different icons and move around. Pressing down on the left joystick selects what you're hovering on. The D-pad does much the same. Up is up, left and right, down is down. Now the right joystick actually brings up a special mouse cursor mode. You'll notice this mouse cursor right here. Uh, useful for clicking on those smaller design elements that might be tough to do with the tip of your finger. Of course, again, click down on the right joystick to select. Now let's talk about triggers and bumpers. You have your bumpers right here that are actually useful for navigating around your user interface. On your home screen, the right bumper helps you navigate home screen panes. You can also go through your apps. The right bumper goes all the way to the right. If you go far enough, you'll go through your widgets. Your left bumper goes back and now back to apps. You can use your A button to select at any time. For instance, I can select the app drawer. I can go back by hitting B. B is always back, A is always select. Now because this is an Android device, it's made to multitask, which lets you switch between apps quickly and easily. To multitask, you want to use your home button, hold down the home button. That brings up to the multitasking window, and you can swipe through the different apps. You can use your joystick to go through your different apps. You can use your D-pad to go through different apps. And to select, you just want to click down on A, click down on a joystick, or tap the touch screen. I'm gonna click A to select that app. Now, let's say you wanna kill an app. I'm gonna go back to the multitasking tray by holding down that home button. I'm gonna find the app I wanna kill. Let's kill the browser, and I'm gonna swipe it up. Or you can also swipe down to kill an app and kick it out of memory. Now there are two different ways to interact with the status bar. That's this black bar up at top. From the top of your screen, swiping down on the left side will bring down system notifications like this. To swipe away and get rid of those notifications like so, just drag your finger. On the right side, you're gonna swipe down and bring up your quick settings toggles, including your settings menu. While we're in the settings menu, I wanna show you how to check for an over the air update for your shield. You can scroll all the way down to the bottom and find about shield or use your joysticks, your D-pad, or even the right joystick for the mouse cursor to select about shield. Go all the way to this top and you'll find system updates, click that, and you'll find that there's a shield update actually waiting for you to improve system stability. So let's take a look at the Tegra Zone app. This is where you can find all your Android and PC games in one place, including Tegra optimized titles. You can fire up Tegra Zone by hitting the multifunction shield button in the middle here, and it takes you right into Tegra Zone. You're gonna use your left and right bumpers over here to navigate between different sections. We have PC Games Beta, Shield Store, and all the way on the left is Shield Games. So let's go through Tegra Zone. I'm gonna look for a game that I wanna play by scrolling around the carousel. I like skiing Fred, so I can either tap on the screen or hit A, I might as well hit A. And there we go on the game. Or let's say you wanna buy a new game. You can do that by going back to the Tegra Zone app by hitting that multifunction button in the middle. Use your right bumper to go to Shield Store and your left joystick or your D-pad to go through and look for a new game to buy. You can choose from Straight Battles Medieval, Arma Tactics, Burn Zombie Burn, Alien vs. Predator, or free titles like The Conduit HD or Auralux. I do like real boxing, so if I wanted to purchase this, I would either tap on the screen or press A to purchase and download. What about PC games? Well, we're gonna use the right bumper to go all the way to the rightmost section, which is PC Games Beta, and this is where you're gonna find all the PC games that you can stream right from your desktop directly to Shield. So that's how you navigate the Android user interface and TegraZone using Shield. If you're interested in PC game streaming beta, make sure to catch our setup tutorial here or learn how you can take advantage of all the Google Play services in our next video here.